Hi there and welcome to my channel. It's time to share with you my final, almost final pages of my art journal from Spain. So make yourself comfortable, grab a cup of tea or coffee and join me. After our wonderful visit to the Alhambra, we went to Albendin, a small town close to Bayenia. The parking was quite simple next to a sports center and a sport field. But the town was great. We had an extra reason to visit this place, but I'll tell you more about that later. We had a great time walking around a bit in Albendin. If you visit small towns, people are not used to tourists, so they were looking at us if we were aliens, but we were, they were very kind. We visited the small breakfast restaurant twice because it was very good and cheap. And that's also what you can see on this page. This is the, re the receipt. It's just 5 euro 80 for two coffee and two tostado jamón. And that's bread with um, tomato sauce like thing. And I think 10 pieces of ham. It was just great. So we've been there two times. And the rest of the page is also we made a friend there. And of course I added some patterns. I had this woman I created uh, earlier. And on this page I used the... Uh, wine box uh, what's underneath and this is for the printer for the printing surface and then they know the colors but i really love to use this as a color palette and uh, these were things i printed myself it's from a sticker i think and i just added it on the page and this was um, the template i used to create this these pieces and maybe you remember it from the previous time, it's the same piece of paper that's here. On the right page, you see, uh, we went to Bahia uh, to do the laundry, and this was actually a wall paint painting, and it was really great. So I wanted to have it in my art journal as well, and struggling with the pattern at first but it was a great thing to do also the bird i really loved it and these was well one of the houses in albendine had this tile work and i really wanted to add this piece because it was matching the color scheme of these uh of this wine box and so it's a complete thing the true reason why we went to albendine was because it's close to our favorite olive oil producer it's an organic olive oil and it's called cortijo de suerte alta it was just a four kilometer walk to this place and it was a very wonderful walk in the mountains and um, through the olive yards of course and uh, i really love the the yellow flowers which is rapeseed uh, and they don't weed that anymore. So it's a lovely view to have when you walk there. And uh, there were a lot of caterpillars there too. And we try not to step on them. But it was a really nice walk. Yeah, the weather was also lovely. And here on the top you see already the factory. And we had a great tour by Maria Anna. So thank you if you're watching this. It was a lovely day with you. And of course, we bought some olive oil ourselves. We already uh, have this olive oil uh, since 2012. So that's already 12 years. And it's really our favorite one. And we ordered it at home in the Netherlands already. And on the road, of course, we run out of olive oil. So this was perfect for us to buy a few bottles of new organic olive oil. The next place we visited was El Santinio, an old mine town. We already recorded a video here at this place. We did some walks to the nice village and in the forest and then we saw this giant mimosa tree. I'm really in love with those trees and this was the very first one I've 
ever seen or noticed. Maybe I've seen them before, but I've never noticed. And I really loved it. And these are close-up leaves, uh, petals. I really love the flowers. And this was actually another flower. Um, there were many of those. I think it's kind of a spring flower. Um, so I really love this tree. And this was the first one of 2024. But on the road to fr through France and everywhere, we've seen many of those. So this was just the first one I've ever seen and I've ever painted. So it was a lovely thing to do. And on this page, I'm showing you some sunsets when we were at the ruins. And it was really great because all clouds went black and pink and orange. So I did a little photo shoot of all the wonderful views. The trees were still bare, but I used that to create kind of a blossom tree out of the clouds and the shape of the tree, yeah, the silhouette of the tree. I really love to make silhouette kind of things when there's a sunset and it was all looking great. This is a song about a ladybug uh, that's landing on Anthony's hand. So that's also the first uh, phrase of the lyrics of the song. There's a ladybug landing on your hand. So I thought, well, why not draw Anthony, paint Anthony, and with the ladybug on his hand, another ladybug here. Here is another label from the wine box with another color scheme that I use for throughout the page. Uh, kind of a guideline, so it's very funny to use those things. Also a piece of pattern uh, matching Anthony's sweater. And I thought in this case, I hadn't enough space to put the lyrics here. And I thought it would overrule the picture. In my other song uh, pages, I used, I can show them, I used, uh, well, kind of old paper, lined paper to write the song down. And then the other one from the Ebru Delta, the wetlands, I used another piece of old paper and it was fully matching the page but in this case I thought it would be overruling the rest so I put the full lyrics behind this flap and here is the full song. And on the final page for today I'll be showing you the food of Spain. All delicious things like a lemon. And of course, there it is again. Olive oil. We bought a wonderful package of rice. And here I collected some packages Anthony, and this means granddaddy. So the crisps are from granddaddy Anthony. And this is my favorite one. This is uh, sunflower seeds, salted, and I really love them. And they're called pipas, like I used to call them when I was young. So it's very nice. And here is his... Pan rustico, rustico, because there's a stripe on it. And it's from Carrefour, but they also have Carrefour in Spain. And of course, I added Spanish peppers and olives and the Spanish flag. Um, this is not the first time that I do an overview 
from a collection of things that I, uh, well, where, where, that I have seen or done or bought on the road. Because in my first book of France, I created a collection of my favorite clothes that I, I've been wearing on the road. So these are my favorite clothes displayed. And in my book of last year, I created a page with souvenirs and all my favorite things that we bought, like a carpet, a candle holder, clothes of course, soap and a water bottle. So this is a tradition that I will go on with and what you can eat. Well, I just had to think of all the colors like the green and red and yellow and were not really colors that I'm working with normally, but it, it all matched so well together that I really wanted to have a page with all these things combined. I discovered that I wanted to add more things to this art journal, especially about our cat Pearl, who was with us for the first time, but I needed more space. So next time I'll be showing you the cat project and also I will show you the completed map that I started with in an earlier video. I hope you're joining me again and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, place a comment below and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel, it really helps us grow and I see you next time hopefully, bye!